All right, so we were talking about multiplying improper fractions versus fractions, so we went through a lot of different ones. This was the last one we were at. We did 15 over 6 times 10 over 20. Remember we said, hey, we're going to look, what can we reduce? We said 15 and 20 both divide by 5. This becomes 4. This becomes 3. 3, 4, 10, and 6. We can divide both by 2. This becomes 5. This becomes 3. So now we've got 3 over 3. Cancel both those out. We get 1 over 1. And we've got 5 over 4, which becomes 1 and 1 4. That's where we were at. Good? Yeah. Okay. And how do you get 1 and 1 4? You have to turn improper fractions into into uh, mixed numbers. Then why would you do the other side? And what is the one and the one and the two? What is the what? Sixth graders, stop talking to each other. That does not work for me. What is that? What is the three and the four? four the three and the one solve from the fifteen and six. Uh, well, there's no three and one. There's just one and one left. Yeah, then one, then one Well, one times five is five, one times four is four. Yeah, so you still multiply across, but basically if you get to the point where you can turn all this stuff into much smaller numbers, and you get to the point where you've got a one here and a one here, or a one here and a one here, you just have whatever number is there goes over here, whatever number is here goes over there, because they're just being multiplied by one. Okay. All right. Um... Let's go to page 176. We're just going to go over four guided practice. If you guys get those, you're good to go on, start on your assignment. We're going to break you I'm going to break you guys up into groups. Yep. All right. 2 over 7 times 21 over 12, 5 over 9 times 24 over 7, 9 over 4 times 10 over 3, and 16 over 3 times 9 over 4. You're doing it individually at your desk. Go. When you're done, then you can start the assignment.